Welcome to our tutorial about the cut tool. I've already got my primary plate ready here. Let's begin by adding some flanges. Maybe 10 millimeters. OK. And let's activate the flange tool again. OK. Now let me create a sketch. It'll be on this face. I'm going to place a circle somewhere here. Let's exit the sketch and activate the cut tool. First, we select the profile to cut. Let's select my circle. Under extents, we can select distance, to next, to, from to, and all. Pretty much the options that you're familiar with from the extrude command dialog window. Let's work with distance. Currently, our distance is set to thickness. We've got a preview in our workspace. We can click on these icons to flip the direction if we need to. And here is our cut. Let's double click on cut one now to make some more edits. Let's check cut across bend. And here is our cut across the bend. OK, let's edit sketch four. I'm going to place a second circle on the sketch right about here. Finish sketch. And edit cut one again. Let's select our new profile. Cut across bend is checked. Let's click OK. Here is our second cut right across the bend. Let's make another cut now. This time I'll do it in the bottom corner. We'll edit sketch four. Create another circle. Finish sketch. Now double click on cut one and select our new profile. OK. And here we have another cut across the bend. OK, let's right click and delete cut one. We'll delete the geometry as well. And let's create another sketch. We'll do it on the same face. Now under Project Geometry, select Project Flat Pattern. This face this face, and select one more face. Let's take a right view, and let's create some more geometry here. Something like this, right click done. We'll apply equal relations, and dimension. Let's make this distance four millimeters from this side and 7 millimeters here. Let's make this 2 millimeters. OK. Now activate the Trim tool. And let's skip the rest of the dimensions. We're going to finish the sketch now. Take an isometric view. Activate the Cut tool again. Let's select the profile. Cut across bend is unchecked. Let's check it. OK. And we have our results. Let's double click on Cut 2 to make some more modifications. Currently, I'm using thickness for the distance extent. When I mouse over the field, I can see that dimension 26 equals half a millimeter. Instead of thickness, I'm able to use another parameter or enter a formula such as thickness divided by 2. OK. And here is our cut halfway through the metal sheet. This concludes our tutorial about the cut tool.